Uh, hi, this is Terence, and it's my final project demo of the class 48.7.24 in Carnegie Mellon University. And there will be two parts in this video. The first part is I will show how to run a simple simulation of this project. And the second part, I will introduce how to create or how to customize your own simulation based on the site I provided. So why don't we first run the simulation? To start the simulation, we should first reset all these agents. We can just press the button here and reset all the agents. Then click this, this uh, click uh, start these nodes. Then all these agents will move uh, according to the interfaces and uh, according to the path I provided. Uh, actually, there are two sets of interfaces here. The first set is start from here and it goes through interface one to three arrives the first destination. The second path is starts. Uh, the second path starts from here, and go across the same interfaces, then arrives at this destination. And you can see as I provided two obstacles here, all the particles will try their best to avoid touching these 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 two obstacles. And also, I set all the building as obstacles, so all the points will try to avoid touching the, the, the building on the path. So I think most of the particle arrives, uh, uh, most of the particles arrive the destination except for these two naughty ones. They are feeling so difficult to, to find their destination because these obstacles. So maybe we can just terminate the simulation and do the next step, which is uh, based on these curve generated, we can generate a structure, a bridge-like structure by clicking the toggle. And you can see we have this structure here. Sorry. And uh, yeah, I prefer to switch to a render mode, uh, which I customize this bridge as blue. And we still have several sliders here to control the appearance of this bridge. Like um, now, you can see the components or pipes are pretty dense. We can just decrease the, the number, the, the count, or the divisions from 40 to maybe 20. And yeah, and you can see we have less components here. And the max factor and mini factor control, uh, controlling the maximum length and the minimum length of the of the components in this bridge. So maybe I can further decrease this max factor and you can see uh, we only preserve we only preserve fewer components with with a uh, with a smaller length. And if we increase the minimum factor, that means we increase the minimum length of the of those components. We will get mm, we will get very limited number of the of the components, then the bridge looks like uh, looks the bridge looks um, pretty structured and less dense, I think. And now we have this one. Uh, the next step is I will show you how to customize your own simulation. Let's switch to Arctic mode again and uh, close this close this bridge. The first thing is, I think you can customize your own paths by moving these interfaces around. Like if you move this up, um, so I think all of them are uh, inertialized in the in the path. No, oh, okay. So if we want to move interface from the first set, I just need to click this set and try to move these curves and the paths of the of the first inter uh, first set changes. I can also move this, move the start region. And when you click here, you just, you just, you just to confirm the path, the start, and the destination of the first set. And yeah, this is the second set. Maybe I want to create a, an extra set. I can just copy and paste this, um, this node, and also copy and paste this, this cluster. I will connect this node to the interface inter, uh, input, group it, set it as maybe set three. Yeah, I just want to make things organized and connect point he to here, connect normals to here, then connect curves to here. Then we can start modifying the path. Maybe for the start point, I want to move it somewhere here. 
yeah oh i think i messed up with the path tool yes so yeah i should reverse these steps and maybe just copy the start interface and rotate it maybe yeah sorry rotate it and make it smaller and higher somewhere here and for the destination i would like to copy this again copy one of the destination again and make it smaller and put it maybe somewhere here now after having this oh sorry i don't think i made a right decision yeah make it here where is the path okay nope still not here why oh it's it's yeah it's hided by those buildings then we need to define the new sets of paths uh, in sequence i will right click and set sorry i should first deselect this and i will right click and set choose set multiple curves and it's quite important to follow the sequence that i start from here and it goes through the interface one two and three that arrives this destination now we have three paths uh three sets uh, three sets of paths sorry and if i click here reset i will see new particles will be generated in these three interfaces and also you can control the number of particles for now i set 20 particles in each region maybe you can increase um yeah, I mean, every time you change the number, you have to reset this, this, uh, reset this node because if you don't reset, the, the node will keep running based on the pre previous condition you provided. So for a smooth simulation, I prefer to decrease the number of particles and reset it again. And I think another thing I want to mention here is I can also customize the obstacles I will not touch this one but yeah for sure you can you can you can modify them as you wish and i just want to add one more obstacle here i will move it down a little bit and to add this obstacle into the obstacle collection i just need to keep selecting this one and right click this erap container and choose manage BRAP collection and click this this green this green icon which means add this one to the BRAP collection and set OK then deselect all reset and run the simulation again and I think this time the particles will avoid touching this new obstacle yeah and each of them are following um, their their paths respectively I think we can finish this simulation and yeah and finish this this short video demo yes i think it's running pretty well yeah it avoids touching all the buildings avoids touching these these obstacles and there are still some difficulties um in finding the destination for 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 a, a very small amount of particles so you don't need to worry about these off-site uh, off uh, particles for, on the destination because there is some radius control here. Yeah, there, there will be another level of question. And I think the simulation finished. I just terminate it and turn this to true. Then we have a new structure. Turn it to render mode. Maybe turn off these points and paths. And yeah, this is the new structure we generated based on our new conditions. So this is the video demo of my final project in class uh, 48724. And thanks for watching.